How to create a folder in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.426.1. Now in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at two different ways that you can create a folder. The first way is we're gonna look at how to create a folder using the UI. It's as simple as, let's go ahead and go into new item. We're gonna give it an item name. In this case, I'm going to name it folder one, and I'm going to select the folder job type. Now, if you don't see a folder job type, that means that you have not installed the plugin to be able to create a folder item type. So you would first need to do that before you would see folder on the screen. So let's go ahead and select folder and click on OK. Now within folder, I could give it a display name, a description, health metrics, other items. Let's go ahead and give it a display name as well. And in this case, my display name is gonna be folder with an upper F space one. So when we click on save, what's going to happen is we're going to see folder one in the breadcrumb, we're gonna see folder one in the name, but notice how the folder is actually correctly named. It's all lowercase folder one with no space. So when you're creating new items, make sure that you create them with no spaces. Because what's going to happen, if you look up in the URL, we can see folder one is still up in the URL without spaces. So if you can minimize the use of spaces in your URLs, just go ahead and keep everything named, preferably all lowercase and no spaces. Then you can give that item a display name to be whatever it is that you want it to be. Now, the second way we're gonna look at creating a folder is by using the Jenkins CLI. I've done a complete video about using the Jenkins CLI. The link to that video is down in the description. Now, in this case, what we're gonna do is figure out what is the CLI command that we need to use in order to create a folder. Now, what we're going to find when we do that, we'll go to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Jenkins CLI. Let's search for a folder on this page. And what we'll find is there's no folder on that because really we're not creating a folder, we're creating a job. So let's look for create job. And what we'll see is we have a create job. So let's go ahead and click into that. What we're going to see here is it creates a new job by reading the standard in as a configuration XML file. Now, what does that really mean? Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be passing in create job, the name of the job, and we're going to be piping in from standard in the value for the configuration XML file. Now, how can we get the XML for the job? Well, fortunately, we can just use the Jenkins CLI to also get that value. So let's go back up to Jenkins CLI and let's search for get job. If we click into that, what we're gonna see is if we give it a job name, which we know is folder one, then it will dump the job definition XML to standard out. So let's try that out. So here's the command that we can use, get job, for folder one, because folder one is at the root of our controller. So if we hit enter here, what we're going to see is a full XML file of what folder one is defined as. We'll see our display name is set here for folder one, but everything else is pretty boilerplate, nothing else really to change there. So let's go ahead and take this export and let's pipe it out to folder-config.xml. And then now for our create job, what we're gonna do is instead of doing a get job, we're going to do a create job and we're going to name it folder two. And instead of piping out, we're going to pipe it in. So now we have a create job for folder two from folder config. Now what that means is when we create our folder two, the display name is still going to be folder one. Let's see what happens. So now we've created the folder. Let's go back into the controller. We now see two folder ones. But if you notice when I hover, the top one is folder one and the bottom one is folder two. I could have made a change to the XML file to have my display name as folder two, but I didn't. So now let's go ahead and go in and modify this folder one, which is actually folder two, click on configure. And what we can see here is the display name folder one is already in use by another job and could cause confusion and delay. No kidding, it could cause confusion. So let's go ahead and rename this to folder two. We'll tab out of that. Notice the warning goes away. We'll go ahead and click on save. We can see now folder two is the folder name, all lowercase with the number, no spaces. We now see folder two as the display name. And when we go back up to the top of the dashboard, we see folder one and folder two. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.